So let's sit back and conceptually discuss what a Van t Hoff factor is. So Van t Hoff factors are represented by the letter I. Because as we all know, the letter I isn't used to describe anything else. It's not used to describe imaginary numbers, it's only used to describe the Van t Hoff factor. Now, when we're looking at a Van t Hoff factor, what we're saying is we want to know how many ions we form for every molecule we throw into solution. So let's say we have something like sodium chloride, NaClAq, we chuck this into water, and you know from your solubility rules, or at least from experience, table salt dissolves really well in water. We get Na plus 1, NCl minus 1, both Aq dissolve in water. So you would infer then that if it's the number of ions over the number of molecules, we have one molecule of NaCl, we have two ions, so this should be 2 over 1, we should get 2, but the Van Hoff factor for sodium chloride is 2. Well, in reality, it's actually 1.9. Now, Van Hoff factors, you can't know a priori. There's no way to like say, well, you know, based on some property, I should be able to figure out the Van Hoff factor. It's something we measure experimentally. But what it's telling you is that when sodium chloride dissolves in water, it doesn't quite form two ions. Actually, what it forms is a lot of this but there's still a little bit of this that remains in solution. So you just can't completely remove these two charges. So why do we need to know this? Well, collective properties depend on the number of ions we form in solution, the number of particulates we have. So if we take sodium chloride, let's say for example, it's Van Hoff factor ends up being one. This tells us that for every molecule of NaCl we throw in there, we have one molecule floating in solution. But if the Van Hoff factor is 1.9, it tells us that for every one we throw in, we actually get roughly two ions that form. Now, the colligative properties of solutions, the change in the boiling point, the change in the freezing point, the change in the vapor pressure, these depend more on the number of things you have in solution and not what their nature is. It doesn't matter if they're ions, it doesn't matter if they're molecules, it just matters how many you have. And so this Van Hoff factor here is a correction factor. It basically says that even though you're chunking sodium chloride in and you're really only chunking a molecule of sodium chloride in, it's actually breaking into two things. And we need to take that into consideration when we start looking at the changes in things like boiling points and vapor pressures.